Beauty's girly. I'm a beauty enthusiast that loves to talk about everything dealing with beauty and makeup, and today we are talking about my favorite lip products of 2021. I cannot wait to share with you these particular products because they have been some of my favorites, and I really feel like you would enjoy them as well. So thank you for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it, and let's get right into this video. So let's first start off with lip liners. My favorite brand of lip liners this year have been Mother Pat McGrath, Lisa Eldridge, and Christian Audette. So let's start with Pat McGrath. There's been two that I have reached for over and over and over again. I have Deep Void and Deep Dive. So what I love about Pat McGrath's lip liners are that they're very creamy and they have really good lasting power. They're not my longest lasting lip pencil but they do last a really good amount of time and then as with anything that mother does the intensity of her lip liners they're just so great so here is a swatch of deep dive deep dive gives us a nice kind of neutral to warm brown i feel like i see a little bit of like a reddish hue to it and i love pairing it with my neutral lipsticks and then Deep Void, oh, I mean, just so deep in burgundy, purple, plumish um, with a brown base. I love wearing this one, once again, with either my neutral lipsticks um, or sometimes I would just wear this on its own with a lip gloss, but love, love, love these two. Um, like I said, for the richness of them and they have really good longevity and they feel nice and creamy on the lips. Then we go with Lisa Eldridge. So I initially had her lip liner. Was it Velvet Affair? I've had that one for the longest time. Love Velvet Affair. I'm actually wearing Velvet Affair. Am I wearing Velvet Affair today? No, I'm not wearing Velvet Affair today. Um, this is Velvet Affair. I love this tone of lip liner. And her lip liners have a more velvet type of texture to them so they last very long on the lips but they're not drying they are a matte formula so is pat mcgrath's um all of my lip liners are matte formulas but they're more of a velvety texture so they are going to dry down a little bit more than pat mcgrath and they will last longer than pat mcgrath's even though pats have a really good wear um these last even longer and i, I just love this tone of velvet affair then this year when Lisa Eldridge came out with more lipsticks, she also came out with more lip liners. So I picked up Cinnabar and Velvet Muse. Oh, the Cinnabar shade right here. Look at that. Such a beautiful reddish orange color um, and very complimentary to any type of my lipsticks that have like a reddish orangey hue. I love it. And then I don't know if this is my favorite. It's between Velvet Cinnabar and then Velvet Muse. Velvet Muse was my longtime favorite lipstick and lip liner shade from Lisa Eldridge until Velvet Cinnabar came. Now I can't choose between the two. But look at Velvet Muse. I mean, y'all know I love me pinky nudes. I love like this cooler tone of this particular shade because I can put it with a warmer toned lipstick and it gives like a really great, great contrast and dimension to it. Um, or I can pair this with a more cooler toned lipstick and it's just stunning. Okay, then we get into Christian Audette and these lip liners are my longest lasting lip liners. I'm talking eating, drinking, talking. These lip liners are not budging and I literally have to use a, I basically use my makeup eye remover to take off the lip liners. I use the one by Neutrogena and it takes it off very easily. But if I'm just like wiping my lips, these lip liners are going to stay. And I love them for that. So the lip liner that I am using is called Paradise. This is actually the collaboration with Lisa Lisa D. And oh, so here we go. Look at that tone of lip liner. Stunning. So like I said, this is what I have on my lips today or the lip liner I use today. Then we get into Wood, which is the collaboration with Gigi Wood um, and Christian Audette. And this one looks kind of similar. So this is Wood. This looks a little similar to Pat McGrath's Deep Dive. Just a dip. It's a little lighter um, and the tone is different. But love, love, love it. Then we get into Smooches. This is in collaboration um, with Mel Thompson. And I love this one, especially if I really want my 
um, lipstick to still keep it pretty nude. I don't want to change any, I don't want to really add depth to the lipstick, but I just want to add dimension to it. Um, when I say depth, I don't want to change the tone of it as much as I just want to, you know, I have a very light uh, neutral lipstick, so I want to add dimension to my lips. That's when I'll use smooches. And my most favorite lip liner from Christian Audet is Nude Sandals. When I say I wear this one all the time, like this one actually lives in my purse. And it looks very similar to Paradise, but so here is Paradise. And this is Nude Sandals. Paradise, last time I checked, was sold out. So if you're interested or if you like this tone, here is Nude Sandals. Oh, when I say this pairs so nicely with a lot of my lipsticks that I wear, like my lighter color lipsticks, oh, it pairs so nicely. So these are the lip liners that I have reached for time and time again. Like if I'm putting on a lipstick, a lot of times any of these lip liners will work for it. Um, and I will highlight these because I haven't had them too long, but I also really have been enjoying the ones by BK Beauty. So I will, let's see, Pink Lady. So I like these lip liners because these are, these tend to go well with a lot of like more, my more pink lipsticks, like my pink lipsticks that have more color to them than being neutral. So here is Pink Lady. Isn't that such a gorgeous color? Um, and then this one is Ultra Ego. Ultra Ego is my favorite. Oof, let, let me get a little space here. I will wear this with my red lipsticks because this has more of a red tone to it. Isn't that really pretty? So this works really well with a lot of my red lipsticks. And then lastly, Warm Spice is another gorgeous one. So we'll put Warm Spice up here. And that, oh, it's right here, Warm Spice. So I have recently picked up or recently received because I was gifted these these BK Beauty lip liners um, but I wanted to highlight them because they are good and I really enjoy them and they're like $12 um, they don't last as long as Pat McGrath Lisa Eldridge or Christian Audette but they have good lasting power so if I had to like give you a time frame I would say the lip liners by BK Beauty probably last me like a good four to six hours unless I'm like heavily eating and drinking wiping my mouth and then I would say uh, Pat McGrath lasts me like six to eight. And then Lisa Eldridge, well over eight hours. Christian Audette, like, no lie, like 12 hours plus. Like, if I had to, you know, give you an hour time frame, that's how I would put these lip liners in the, those categories. So, I love those lip liners. I highly recommend them. I have other lip liners, but like those are the ones, if I'm going for a lip liner, trust me, I'm reaching from one of those four brands with my absolute favorites being Pat, Lisa, Christian. Okay, on to lipsticks. So, Lisa Eldridge. Oh my goodness me. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lipsticks by Lisa Eldridge. She came out with five this year. Okay, so we have Blush Lightly. Um, I do know that this is one, and I'm not gonna swatch everything because um, oh, I don't wanna take up too much time, but I have done a dedicated video on all of these newer lipsticks, so I'll link that so you can go see them swatched on my lips. But this is Blush Lightly, and I also have Velvet Blush, and I really enjoy both the tones. So then she came out with Velvet Intrigue, and I actually broke the bullet, and also Emma has been messing with it. So that's why this one looks a little beat up, but I love this color too. It looks really, really pretty um, against my complexion. Then we have Velvet Petal. Oh, I love this shade too. And then lastly was Velvet Cinnabar. So I think it was four that she came out with this year. Look at that gorgeous but i love all of my lisa eldridge lipsticks like they are by far by far some of my favorite formulas of lipsticks i do really need to sit down and kind of rank my favorite lipstick brands because i i personally want to like take a moment and just consider like who would be number one i actually know who would be number one you want me to tell you i'll tell you when i get there i already know who, who my number one would be i already know 
As far as like the other ones, I don't know yet, but I know who my number one is, so we'll get there. Okay, so love my Lisa Eldridge. Like from here on out, whatever lipstick she comes out with, I'm buying all of them. I just love the tones. The formula is a velvet matte, so very comfortable to wear. They're, they're not drying on the lips for me. And so far, the shades that I've tried, they just look so stunning and vibrant and so complimentary to the skin. I love, love, love them. And because they have a velvet formula they last so well on the lips all throughout the day so pairing her lipsticks with her lip liners like you have a combination on your lips that are just really gonna last all day long then i picked up some more lipsticks from charlotte tilbury because i really enjoy her formula and um oh so i picked up this year be perfect b-i-t-c-h perfect and this is what it looks like i really have been enjoying this one i love all of mine by charlotte tilbury so i'm just highlighting like some of my favorites because I have more than the ones I'm going to show you. Ooh, Yes Honey. Now, I will swatch Yes Honey because, first of all, the name. Yes Honey. Secondly, this is such a very interesting, interesting nude. So, we've got a neutral nude, but then it's got a peachy tone to it with like a, like a touch of, like a kiss of pink it's such an interesting combination yes honey i truly believe that it turns into like you see the tone of the lipstick based on the lip liner that you pair with it love it it's probably definitely one of my most unique shades um in terms of lipstick shades in like the neutral category so yes honey be perfect and i would say my absolute favorite lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury this year is JK Magic. Like this tone of pinky nude, I will swatch this one because oh, this is the perfect pinky nude. Can y'all see that right there? That right there is the perfect tone of pinky nude I think I've ever come across with. I don't have to wear a lip liner with it, but if I do choose to wear a lip liner with it, it just looks even better. And this is such a creamy formulation. Like Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks are so creamy on the lips. So they are a satin formula and they feel almost like a moisturizer within a lipstick. So soothing to the lips, but then you get a really beautiful high shine. And then I love the neutral tones. Like I think Charlotte Tilbury really does neutral lipsticks very well because you know she tends to, to air things on the side of neutral and so i love 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 those christian louboutin so recently i would say with the, within the past couple of months recently tried the christian louboutin lipstick formula but have fallen in love with it here's beige curtain i actually got this one for christmas and this is quite light so it looks deeper in the bullet i'll swatch this one so you can see it um, but it shows a pretty light on the skin, but the formula of these lipsticks is what has won me over. So there's beige curtain right here. It's so comfortable. This is another one of those formulas that feels like a balm, um, but it's, it's in a lipstick as well. So here is Mundo Red. Look at that. Oh, I love Mundo Red. I know I said I wasn't going to swatch everything, but oh, look at that. And then once again, it just feels so creamy and moisturizing to the lips. So love, love, love these. This is, yes, newer to my collection, but I will be getting more. Then I have two by Chanel. So I love these Chanel liquid lipsticks. So you've got a pigment on this side and then you have a gloss on this side. So the liquid lipstick is dry as a Sahara desert. I'm talking like crack your lips dry, but you put the gloss on and the gloss makes it much more comfortable to wear number one and it gives it a really beautiful sheen, but you get the staying power because the liquid lipstick is underneath. So even when the gloss kind of wears away, your lips, number one, are not left feeling dry because you've already applied the gloss on top. And then you get this beautiful color left behind. So this is light mauve, yes, yes, light mauve. And then we have Timeless Beige. So I wanna get more of these lipsticks. Um, I can't remember what the shade name is, but there's a red shade. And every time I see someone wear it, I'm like, it is so intense and y'all know I love intense like bright colors of lipsticks. So really enjoy this formulation and I don't know, it's just something about it that I really like. It's not anything, I wouldn't say it's anything revolutionary per se, um, but I enjoy the staying power. And, and then like I said, when you add the gloss on top, it's really beautiful, so love it. And then, oh, I recently fell head over heels in love 
with the Sephora Collection Liquid Lipsticks. I feel like a broken record at this point because I've talked about these lipsticks so much recently within the past couple of months, but I was just like, wow, where have I been? So I have shades 94, which is this beautiful, like, fuchsia, like, let me just swatch it because it's hard to explain. It's like a bright pink red right there, right there. Stunning. This was my first shade, and this was the first shade that made me go like, oh, where have I been? And they're only $15 because it's Sephora, Sephora brand. Then I have Always Red, which, I mean, I think this shade is going to replace my favorite, which is Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored. Because that, for the, very, for the longest, has been like my favorite red lipstick, hands down. And this one... I think this one might replace it. Then recently I picked up two nude shades. So I have 66 right here, 75 right here. And then lastly, shade 84, which is a new shade um, that they, they, they just added. And it's such a beautiful rose base shade. So there's 84. Oh, I need more guys. The pigmentation, as you can see, is so intense. It's a very comfortable liquid lipstick. So nothing that's like, dry and, and you know sahara desert dry very comfortable so high shine on the lips like even the neutral tones are very much like statement neutrals cannot say enough about these love 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 these and then to my most favorite lipstick brand y'all already might know this christian audette I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lipsticks from them and accounting. Earlier this year, I came out with a collab with them where I have a bundle and I still have the bundle. So if you are still interested, it is still available for purchase. I came out with three shades. <clears throat> well, they have these three shades and I just put them in a bundle. And they are Noel, Merlot, and Hocus Pocus. And I love every bit of those shades. Every bit of those shades. I will link my reveal video so that you can see them swatched on my skin. I also swatched some other of my favorites from the brand in that video. And I, I mean, number one, I love the formula of the lipsticks. They're infused with vitamin C, so they're very moisturizing to the lips, even though some of them are matte. Some of them have more of like a satin formula. They last so long on the lips. And I'm talking like almost as long as their lip liners. So they are also my longest lasting lipstick without them being a liquid lipstick. And that is such a standout for me because a lot of my lipsticks, even the ones that are more matte, they don't last as long. Lisa Eldridge's do because they have a velvet matte formula. Gucci does as well. But for a lipstick that doesn't have like that velvet formula, all the other ones that I have don't last that long. Christian Audette's does. Secondly, pigmentation out of this world. Every one of the shades is such a statement lipstick and such a statement shade. Even the more subtle shades still like have a presence on the lips. So like I'm wearing the Christian Audette lip liner in Paradise and then I'm wearing the lipstick in Mrs. Mistletoe. And this is such a neutral pinky nude, but I feel like you can see it. It's there, it's a neutral lip combination, but there is something on my lips and it's not just like, do you have something on your lips? Oh, you put something on, I can't see it. Still very high pigmented. None of their lipsticks are sheer. So if like my lips are being funny and crusty or anything like that, the pigment fully covers my lips so I don't have to see any of my own lips peeking through. And I just love them. I just love them. I love the white packaging of them. Everything about it, I love them. And then it doesn't hurt that the brand owner, her, it's so funny, her name is Sweetie and she is the sweetest. She's so kind and just genuinely cares about the people that she works with. So I love all of my lipsticks from the brand, but I would have to say outside of the lipsticks in my collaboration, because I love those, I have worn Your Fired the most outside of my lipsticks from the collaboration, from from my collab. You're Fired is such a beautiful fuchsia or like a bright pink red. Kind of, it's deeper than um, 94 from Sephora, but I wore this all through the summer. I actually still wear it. Like when I want a pink shade, like I just, I just reach for this one. It is so gorgeous. 
Oh, what's some? I mean, there's so many. Uh, there's so many. There's so many. There's so many. Um, there's so. Oh, another pinky nude that I like. I mean, I know you all may not like all the pinky nudes, but I love pinky nudes. This is company card. This is another one that I will reach for if I want, you know, a nice pinky nude. And it's when I say I'll reach for these, like if I don't want to put a lip liner on and I just want to put a lipstick on, but I want the lipstick to last all day long, Krishna Dead, hands down. Noelle is upstairs in my purse, so I can't show you that one because I don't even feel like going upstairs to get it. But I love that shade. I mean, I love them all. And I like, that's why earlier I was like, I know exactly what my favorite lipstick brand is. Hands down, no questions asked. Christian Audette does it all for me. So I'm gonna stop raving about them, but just know I love them, love them, love them. Okay, and then lip, lip glosses and then we're done. There's only been a couple of lip glosses that I have just been like head over heels for this year. Oh, they're upstairs in my purse, okay. So I'll talk about one. The other one is upstairs in my purse, but the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. Granted, it's not a gloss, but it's kind of a gloss because it's really glossy, but I love these. They are so hydrating and they act as a really great treatment to the lips um, and they have a hint of color. So I have this shade called Laura and then in my purse, I have the shade Chelsea Olivia. Both of them are bloggers. They did a, a collab with Tarte. So I bought them and that's how I tried them. And I was like, these things are so good. Then I have two lip glosses by Pat McGrath. So Flesh Fantasy, such a beautiful shade. And what I love about these lip glosses is that they're a gloss, but they also add actual color to the lips. So it's not just a sheen on the lips. Like this shade, I can wear it on my lips by itself and you will see a color on my lips and not just like I have shiny lips. Love this tone of like pinky nude. At Pat McGrath's Gold Allure. I don't even know if she still makes this. I hope that she does, but I went looking for it recently and I couldn't find it. Gold Allure combined with the lip liner Deep Void or Deep Dive. Honey, do you see that gold shimmer right there? Oh, it's so pretty. And then like I said, pair it with like a, her lip liner Deep Dive, Deep Void. You're not ready. You are not ready. Not ready, not ready at all. And then lastly, I wanna talk about Westman Atelier's, their lipsticks or lip glosses. And I have this shade called Nana and I am being sentimental. First of all, the formula is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, the formula is gorgeous. I do wanna get more. But this shade right here is called Nana. And my grandmother, um, she passed away last year, 2020. And so I love it because it, it's Nana. It makes me think of her. And we weren't the closest. Um, we kind of had our own issues. But um, you know how you grow to appreciate somebody for who they are. And so I love this shade, first of all. And I do really enjoy the tone. But I, I love that I have a makeup product called Nana that makes me think of my grandmother. Um, so I really do enjoy this formula though. I don't want y'all to think like the formula is bad or like it's an okay lip gloss. So it's a gorgeous lip gloss. And then as a bonus, it's called Nana. So yes, that is it. Those are the products that I have been reaching for the most this year in terms of lip liners, lipsticks, and lip glosses. Absolutely love them all. And I have other favorites, but I really wanted to point out the ones that I got this year that I really enjoy, you know, that have either come out this year or I've purchased this year and I just use them time and time again. So leave down in the comment section what your favorite lip products are. Give me some brands, introduce me to some new brands and shades because I'd love to try more. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad and guys that is it thank you so much for watching and i really hope to see you in my very next video bye guys